Hi, it's Stephen here from Ted's World of Imaging, getting you educated about pet photography. Pets, they're the other loves of our life, and they never complain too much when forced into long, boring photo shoots. But how do you use your photography to bring out the best in them? You're about to find out. Here are our top five tips on photographing your pets. Our first tip for capturing the best pet photography is to do something that your pet loves doing. Pets like us wear emotions on their faces. If you want to capture lovely memories of you and your pet enjoying time together, schedule your shoot during their favourite activities such as a game of fetch or a walk on the beach. Unless, of course, they're, they're a bird or a goldfish or an axolotl. You'll get your shot and keep your relationship intact simultaneously. Our second pet photography tip is a technical one. It is to shoot with a fast shutter speed. Pets are like kids, they are always on the move. A fast shutter speed is the key to freezing them in action. An understanding of the exposure triangle will help you set this up in unison with your aperture and ISO. But if this is too advanced for you at this stage, we recommend switching your camera from automatic to shutter priority mode. Play around with your shutter speed to see what works. But a good starting point is 1 125th of a second or faster. Third on our list of tips is to focus on the eyes. Like a good portrait, a good pet photograph will more often than not have the eyes as a focal point. If the eyes are not clear or in focus, some of the impact of the photograph will be taken away. This tip is hard to master for action shots, so this is one to keep in mind during your furry friend's downtime. Our fourth tip for mastering pet photography is to get down to their level. Shots taken of your pet from a great height can work to emphasise their smaller stature, but you have likely taken these shots many times before. Have you considered crouching down to meeting them face on? This differing perspective helps you capture your pet in their own world and encourage them to engage more with the camera. If your pet is the savvy modern kind with an Instagram page, these shots will more likely be the ones that are most liked. For more tips on growing your pet Instagram, don't forget to check out our blog on that topic. Our final tip for great pet photography is to get outdoors. This may sound obvious to some of you, but many people still complain about the photographs being dark and grainy. The solution is to let more light in. With the sun being the best light source, a trip into the backyard can really improve the overall quality of your photographs. This tip plays into some of the earlier tips as well, as more light allows you to use a faster shutter speed and your four-legged, two-legged or winged friend probably prefers to be outdoors rather than stuck inside all day. Want to know more? Head to teds.com.au slash blog or keep updated by subscribing to Ted's on YouTube or Ted's on Instagram at Ted's underscore cameras for all the latest Ted education. You can also join Club Ted to stay updated on the latest news and content, as well as be eligible for all Club Ted only offers. See you soon.